What's going on? This your boy, Chris Simmons, coming to you with another podcast episode on this very, very special episode because I got a very special guest on right now, all the way from Washington near Seattle, originally from Nigeria. Yes, ma'am. I got a friend who uh, was also from Nigeria, so she might know who that is for real, for real. Uh, She is on a mission to inspire an active lifestyle in her friends and to crush your fitness goals. So you already know this is, a, this is a person who's very passionate about fitness, which is why I reached out to her because I figured this would be a great episode for us to just be able to have a casual conversation to why we think fitness, you know, is a big impact in our lives and why it's important to us. Um, so without further ado, let me introduce, let me introduce y'all to Miss Tessie James. What's going on with you, girl? How you doing? Doing good, Chris. How are you? Man, I'm doing good for real, for real. It's uh 10 o'clock over here. I know on the West Coast it's about seven o'clock, so it's a three hour difference. Oh but, yeah. Yeah, it's a little late, you know what I mean? But like I said, you gotta get it in, you know. You feel me? For sure, for sure. Yeah, yeah. So how's your day been? Like you've been pretty busy? Oh yeah, it's been pretty busy. Been at work all day. Um, but I just I just got done with work and on to this really so that's pretty much it nothing too exciting did you uh did you get your workout in not yet I usually work out in the evenings just because my schedule is a little like off right I I started I think initially I started working out in the mornings but I just could not do that for too long uh it was a little challenging for me so I prefer doing it in the evenings, usually around eight o'clock. So right after this, that's exactly where I'm going. So yeah. Bad. Bad. Y'all already know what it is. I, I got my workout in this morning. So I so it's funny you mentioned how you work out in the evenings. I'm more of a morning person. Like I get up at like six in the morning. I yeah. get up at six in the morning, you know, I get my workout in around six forty five, between six forty five, seven o'clock. Mm-hmm. Um, and then you know, I just get out the way because I like starting my day off with the workout. I know, you know, some people like to do it during the day or in the evening, but I feel like it really don't matter as long as you get the work in, as long as oh, you yeah. get the work in for real, for real. Now, what, now, what are your favorite type types of workouts? Like what's your favorite thing to work out? Like, are you arms, legs, or you just like all, all around? I honestly, I really like to, whenever I go to the gym, I really don't like to specifically focus on one area. Um, So I'd say more full body. Um, I really love like complex movements and compound movements, um, functional exercises and plyometrics, right? Those are like my absolute favorite kinds of exercise that uh, work out different muscle groups at the same time. So yeah, that's usually my my go to. If I if I were to just you know I want to do something, that's usually what I'll think about doing. Bad, yeah. Bad, bad. No, I feel you. I feel you though, because I I think when I came across your Instagram page, I was like, dang, she getting it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I was like, I bet. Like, I think I might need to try some of these workouts for real, because I'm more <laughs> like in the strength training. So today. Uh, today was na- International Chess Day. Now, oh, that's really? not really a holiday. I'm just making it up, like, because a lot of people do chess, like, a lot of, I guess, a lot of guys, they do chest and chest and back or just, you know, they just do, like, the bench press, like, because mm-hmm. you know, every Monday, like, people be doing the bench press. So that's what we did. I did, you know, some bench press, uh, you know, did some uh, cables and then, you know, did a few back back workouts, did some pull-ups, had to get my pull-ups in. Yeah. You know what I mean? So it was it was cool though. It was cool. Like, you know, I, I always love working out with uh with people. So I work out with two people. Like they're both they're considered my friends. And you know, yeah. we just get we just we just get it. We just go out and get it every morning. Like I call them my like accountability group. You know what I mean? Like people That's who push okay. me to be able to, you know, work out and, and continue to do more. So mm-hmm. yeah. yeah that's that's definitely important having like that group that can you know people that can just make you get up when you don't want to get up that is right. <laughs> that's always good yeah right 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 now speaking about other than working out like what else like are you really into like what 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 are some of your other hobbies though um 
So I really honestly love to be active. So um, so I, I usually take like martial arts classes on the side. Okay. Um, so I'm currently learning Taekwondo, uh, something that I do like two times a week. That's fun for me. Um, besides that, I really love like learning about businesses and engineering. So I'm an engineer by profession. Um, <laughs> yes. So that's what keeps me busy during the day. Uh, but, but besides that, because, because my profession is very um, passive, what, what that means is I, I don't get to move around a lot. I'm basically sitting in front of my computer all day. Um, most of my hobbies, I really just like to anything that takes me out of the house and gets me moving, right? Really keeps me active is something that I really enjoy doing. Um, so like martial arts, bowling, um, skating, although I don't know how to skate, I will probably like fall multiple times, but I still enjoy it just because like it is, you know, it's just something that gets me moving. So things like that, yeah. Yeah, man, you sound like me for real, for real. Like I'm, like, I'm the same way if I like, I'm I'm more of an active person. I don't like sitting around all day. Like I love going out and you know, like I said, just being active. Like bowling, definitely something I would love to do. I actually did take Taekwondo when I was little. When I was little, I used to take uh Taekwondo. I went up to the uh to the green belt. Oh, really? I went up to the green belt. Yeah, yeah. I remember like uh the the fun thing was where I guess they had Taekwondo meets and mm -hmm. you just get to break the board and stuff, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Yeah, those are fun. <laughs> yeah, no. the thing was, it took so long because it was like so many belts, and I think like, I guess like the higher belts, like had to go first, and I was it was like an all day thing, but I was just looking forward to hitting the board. <laughs> that was that was my fun part. So yeah, I, I used to do that. Um, I, I just I don't know. I just didn't like it anymore as much. Like I just stopped doing it. But yeah. I, I tried it though. I tried it. I tried it, but it was like I was like, I'm getting tired of this for real. Right. <laughs> yeah. I mean, when I was a kid, I used to do um I used to do taekwondo as a kid and karate um as a kid as well. Um and I guess at some point I was just like, yeah, I don't think I like this anymore. But yeah. recently I got the opportunity to start again. And I'm like, I think, you know, I can I can give it a try and something and I've I've figured I really enjoy um you know so so yeah that's it's there's always different stages where you enjoy things and sometimes you don't you you know yeah it's all good though but you know hey it's all right you know i'm like i said i've learned to enjoy other things in my life um so yeah i mean that's that's all good though now i want to ask you for real for real, since we're on the topic since this is more about you know fitness yeah, I want to ask you about your journey. I want to ask you, like, why do you do what you do? Why why is this become an important part of your lifestyle? Because it looks like it is a lifestyle. Like, you know, it seems like, you know, that's who you are. That's who you represent. You know, when mm -hmm. I look at your Instagram, that's all you post in this basically fitness. Yeah. So how, how did this happen? Like, how did you develop this passion to become become in the fitness? Oh, that's a. Uh... That's an interesting story. I don't know how interesting that will be, uh, the story rather, <laughs> but we'll start from somewhere. So I think uh, my fitness journey hasn't been very long. Um, so as a kid, I've just always been active in the sense of just being active. It just uh, I love to do sports and all sorts of things that I really wasn't good at, but you know, I just love to do it just because I could run around. A lot of people said I had too much energy for my own good. So yeah, um, but I really started working out with a more conscious, um, you know, just more conscious understanding three years ago. So um, this is, this hasn't been very long at all. It's just like three years into, I'm three years into my fitness journey right now. And um, for me, initially, whenever I started to be totally honest, I started working out because I wanted to look good, right? Um, and that's usually how a lot of people get started, right? You, you know, you want to look a certain way and you feel like, oh yeah, if I, if I work out, I can build my glutes and, you know, my hips and, you know, have like abs and stuff like that. So that was my initial thought process whenever I started working out. Um, but as I began to keep on with my fitness journey and just kept on going to the gym and working out some more, 
fitness has definitely played a huge role besides just how I look, right? Um, for me, it's more like, it's a personal development thing for me, mm -hmm. right? Um, like I mentioned before, I love to be active. I also love to learn about businesses. And one of my dreams and my goals in the future is to build businesses, right? And, you know, be an entrepreneur and basically grow in that, in that sense, right? And for me, uh, you know, if you, it takes energy to do these things, mm -hmm. right? Um, and when you work out, you, you tend to learn how to use your energy better, right? Mm -hmm. And you tend to build more energy better, right? And so for me, working out is literally building my body to last me longer, right? Because I want to be able to do, I want to be able to do so much impact in this world. And I know that I can't do that if, my this this vessel right here is not strong enough right and if this vessel right here won't take me as far as I need to go then I can't really I can't really go as far as I want to so fitness has become that for me it's become me developing myself and preparing myself for what I need to do for tomorrow what I need to do for my kids for my you know future grandkids and stuff like that so so that's it's just really that's really um why fitness is very important for me and you know what my my fitness means to me right now and that's really my goal in terms of my instagram right now I'm trying to inspire um people to think in that manner of just being active and understanding how to like build your um build a body that lasts which eventually would help you build a life that lasts so yeah that's that's pretty that that's pretty much it for me all right all right. Hey, that, that, you know, what? I agree with a lot of that, to be honest with you. Like I that's what attracts me the most with people who love to stay active and in love, are in love with fitness. One thing that I really love about people in fitness, not necessarily that they look good. I mean, that's obvious. Everybody can see that. Right. Yeah. But I, I, what I love with people who, you know, are into fitness and are, you know, have a, a disciplined routine, you know, in terms of working out, is that a lot of people who do that type of stuff. You know, a lot of people look at them like, oh, they so they look so good. Like, man, like, I wish I can have a body like that. But what you ain't seeing is the discipline. And that's oh, what yeah. attracted me to you right there was like, I was like, dang, this girl discipline. Like she got a routine like every night, you know, she working out. She, you know, doing all these different types of workouts, staying consistent with a routine. You know, that's what I really love. And I feel like, you know, for me, you know, fitness, being, you know, into fitness has really taught me how to discipline myself. Oh, you know wow. what I'm saying? And, you know, I, I personally am really into fitness. You know, as, as my listeners know, you know, I always re reference fitness um, because I know fitness for me, uh, you know, the reason I do it in the mornings is because it gives me energy. Um, mm -hmm. I know a lot of people, they drink coffee. Like they, they in line at Starbucks and Dunkin', like trying to get the coffee boy. Uh, I, I don't need that. You know, I've, I've told my friend, you know, my friend, you know, he's a big coffee drinker. He's he's one of the guys I, uh, I work out with uh, in mm -hmm. the mornings. And he's like, bro, like I need coffee. I said, I don't need coffee. He's like, you don't drink coffee. I said, no, because I run off natural energy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because sure. like yeah. working out for real, that, that that's like giving me energy. Like that's that's why I do it, because it gives me energy, it gives me strength. Like, you know, I can move better. You know, I got, you know stronger muscle, stronger bones, you know, it's good yeah. for development, muscle, muscle growth, you know, I'm able to focus, like, sometimes when I don't work out, like, I just feel off, you know what I'm saying, <laughs> now, granted, your body needs rest, don't get me wrong, your body needs to, you know, to rest at, at some point, but I know if I go consecutive days without working out, I just feel off, yeah, it's, it's just become my routine, it's just become my part of my routine, and so, you know, when I work out, you know, after I work out, take a shower, everything, I just feel more focused. Like I feel more alert versus like sluggish when I don't work out. I mean, that's just, like I said, that's just like my energy booster in the morning. Uh, one thing that I also found about what working out does is it improves mental health. Uh, one thing that I researched was that uh, when you work out, it releases like these chemicals oh, that can improve your mood and, you know, can help reduce stress and, and risk of depression. So, you know, that's why I'm able, that's why I feel like I'm strong mentally as well as physically is because every day I'm pushing my body to different limits. Yeah. And I also think that working out, you know, kind of prepares you to go into the day. 
Um, and it also prepares you for life because yeah. you signing up to do pain. That's what it is. Like at the end of your workout, if you're feeling good, like I don't know what type of workout you're doing, <laughs> but <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But that's just how I feel. Like that's why I do it. And I feel like, you know, it's a good routine to get into. Like, you know, definitely make you feel more confident about yourself. And mm -hmm. so, yeah, I mean, that's just, that's just my take on it though. Oh yeah. And it, it does play like a very important role, especially in the mental, the mental aspect of things. Right. And um, like, like you said, every time I, every time I'm done working out, cause I do, like I, like I mentioned before, I do my workouts now in the evenings uh, because that's the time that fits my schedule. But then as soon as I'm done working out, I'm like, okay, What's that huge task that I couldn't do during the day? Now I want to do it, right? Because I have all this energy. I have like, I'm in much better mood, right? Um, to be able to, you know, just take on take on whatever task and just do whatever. Um, it builds that mental toughness within you. So like, yeah, it's de I definitely feel you on that. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Yeah, definitely. Like I said, improves mental, it helps improve you, you know, just your mental ability to be able to think and to be able to, like I said, like be confident in yourself. Like, you know, I feel like a lot of people who are in shape, you know, just get that confidence in themselves. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's just, it, it, it's just a game changer in my opinion. It's just a game changer in my opinion. It'll allow you to be more disciplined, like I was saying. Now, because you do work and because, you know, you have your typical nine to five job, like, you know, how, how are you, how are you able to stay disciplined? Cause you know, some people will be like, Oh, I work. Like I don't have time. Like how, how, how is it like, how, why is it, how is it important to you? How do you make it important to you? How do you make it a priority um, for those who might be struggling and maybe can't make it a priority? How do you make a priority to be able to still work out, even though you still got to work throughout the day? Yeah. And, and that's a, that's a really good question because that is definitely something that initially I struggled with, right? And to be to be very frank with you, there are many times in my life, it's just like prior to starting my fitness journey seriously, where I'm like, okay, you know what? I'm gonna do, I'm gonna start going to the gym. I'm gonna start working. I'm gonna start going for a run. And it never happened. Maybe it happened once or twice, but then, you know, after some time, it just never happened. But one thing, if one thing is for sure what was the biggest like dividing point for me or just that line in the sand when I'm like okay this is a point I'm going to start and just kind of keep going right was when I decided I just really sat down and really thought about why it was important for me just starting with why this is important because if you don't know and if you're and if your why is just because you want to look good it's not strong enough to keep you going mm -hmm. right that 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 motivation is not strong enough to like keep you going when you're feeling sleepy in the morning because you, you told me you wake up at like 6 a.m or something like that so you wake up your your eyes are not even like you don't want to be awake at that time you probably want to sleep for like an extra 30 minutes and you're going to go lift weights at the gym like your body doesn't want to do that right and so it takes a lot more than you know I want to look good you can be like I can look good tomorrow <laughs> right um and so it takes a lot more than you know the physical aspect of things to keep you going in your fitness so I had to really dig deep and find out why fitness was important for me and why this is something that I want to keep on um keep on doing and then I just literally made up my mind that this is something that is important for me and made that commitment this is important this is something that I'm going to do respected and um, it takes a it takes a while to build a habit. To be very honest, right? It takes a while to build a habit. Prior to um, prior to working out in the evenings, I used to work out in the mornings. So my body was already getting used to waking up, going to the gym, and coming back. But then my schedule shifted, and I couldn't do that anymore. And so whenever I was shifting to working out in the evenings, there were some gaps. There were some days I'm like, yeah, I don't feel like going to the gym, right? Because it's all habit, right? So if you can, I guess for people who are listening to this, who are just like um, struggling with being consistent, my first take will be find out a deeper reason why you want to work out, why you want to be into fitness other than um, how you want to look, 
right? Because the truth is your body will keep changing. Um, you know, right now I'm in my 20s, right? Um, when I get to my 30s, my body will look different, right? When I start having kids, my body will look different. When I'm in my 40s, my body will look different. So it has to be more deep, deeply rooted than just how you look, right? Um, and so find out the reason why you want to be into fitness and then just make a commitment and try to stick with it for 30 days. I just try like a 30 day routine. That's how long your brain takes to just make it automatic for you. Um, and so I think, I think for me, those were like the two biggest things for me, right? And of course, having someone to stay accountable, um, you know, like, like you mentioned, like having accountability um, groups and accountability partners, it's always really good. Right now, I don't have any because I just moved here um, and most of my friends are not with me. Uh, so I have to do a really good job in keeping myself accountable. But, you know, always having like that community of people around, even if it's friends at the gym that, you know, will ask you, oh, Tessie may show up at the gym today. You know, I wonder where she's where she's at, you know, um, always having that community is also really good to just kind of keep you consistent and keep you going in your fitness journey. So. Yeah, that would be that would be my take on that. That's good. No, I like that. I really do like that. Uh, I really do like that point that you, those points that you made, um, making it more internal instead of external. I think that's what I got out of it because you mentioned how you know it's got to be deeper than just trying to look good for other people. Because I feel like that's where gym anxiety comes in. You know, I don't know if you've ever had gym anxiety. I, honestly, I don't know if that really exists. Because I feel like a lot of that has to do with you feeling like, you know, you're insecure about people looking at you. Yeah. When you go to the gym, it should never be about how it should never be about comparing yourself to other people. Right. It should be about what you can do. And that, I've talked about, you know, I've talked about that on one of my previous episodes is how, you know, success is determined by how far you started and how far you've been able to come, not by looking at somebody else. Right. So it's just going in there, knowing what you can do and continue to work on what you can do. So what you can't squat like 200 pounds, you know what I'm saying? Like you see somebody in the gym with all this weight, you looking at them, you're like, oh, shoot. Like, you know, are they going to laugh at me because I can't do this much weight? No, mm -hmm. I mean, it should be about, you know, getting in there and doing it because you want to benefit yourself. You want to take care of yourself. Right. I'm there, now there's probably dudes in there that are way stronger than me. Right. When I go to the gym, the gym that I go to is like a power gym, honestly, like it's like a real gym. It's got the iron plates and everything like that. It's got the Olympic plates. Yeah. But, you know, I, like I said, like usually like the time I go like that, none of them, none of them is in there because I go in the morning. Most of them go yeah. in the afternoon, like in the evenings, which is a very popular time to go. But just pick a time, like pick a time that works for your schedule, you know, and, and, and just continue to stick with that routine. You know what I'm saying? Like. Because in order to grow, you must go through the process, right? It's like a diamond. In, in order for a diamond to become a diamond, it's got to get cut. Oh, so yeah. it's about trying to, you know, I know a lot of people don't like the feeling of working out, but they want the results. They want the results of what people have when they work out, but they don't want to go through the process. You know what I'm saying? Or they're afraid to get started because they're afraid to, you know, be able to put themselves through pain. See, in order... Yeah. In order to succeed, to succeed, you must go through the pain. And that's what I feel like working out does. It's like working out kind of gives you a sense of accomplishment. And it's yeah. also really beneficial. See, I spend my time doing stuff beneficial to my body. You know what I'm saying? I don't really drink. I don't smoke. And I mentioned this before. I don't really do any of that because I'm more into taking care of my body and, and being able to do something that's beneficial for my body because, you know, I just like feeling good. I like the feeling of, you know, feeling good you know, looking good and also being able to, you know, continue to move around because when you get older, you're going to start to slow down. But, you know, I've talked to people who, you know, have been working out, like, for example, like my dad, like he's like in his fifties, that man's still strong. <laughs> honestly, <Yeah. laughs> honestly, man, still strong. And he's going to look like he can still move pretty good. So that's what it does. It's like, you know, it, you know, it adds years to your life, honestly. Like, yeah, it does. It, it does. Really cool. It like, does. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, were you going to say something? Yeah, I wanted to just kind of add to the point you mentioned on just like the process, right? I have a, I have a really good friend who would always say, 
um, you know, divorce the result and get married to the process, right? Um, forget about the results. Like when you're doing anything, just about anything at all, forget about the, the result, right? The result will be, will be the end goal, or will be the byproduct of the process. So if you just keep going in the process, you would eventually get the result. And um, that also leads me to saying that, you know, when it comes to fitness, it's not a one size fits all. Um, and for you to kind of be consistent, you want to do something that you enjoy doing, right? Um, for example, for me, I don't necessarily enjoy, um, you know, targeting one muscle group at a time. Like, so I would, you, if you see me at the gym, you most likely not see me at machines, right? Like maybe, um, you know, those machines that isolate your muscles and really work on them. I'll probably be at a field somewhere with some dumbbells and some kettlebells and stuff like that. Cause that's what I enjoy doing. Right. Um, and so when it comes to your fitness, you want to, you want to really focus on what you enjoy because that's, what's going to keep you, that's, what's going to keep things interesting every single day. Right. Um, but beyond the discipline, you also want to enjoy your fitness as well. I think that's one thing that's really big for me as well, picking out things that I love to do and, you know, going on to doing it. So, yeah. 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 Definitely like find a routine that works for you. Um, it, and definitely don't be afraid to push yourself, by the way. Don't be afraid to like step outside the comfort zone because, you know, in order to grow, you must get out of that comfort zone at some point. It's so. Fair. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, maybe start like with a low impact workout. You know what I mean, I'm not saying you got to go in there and like go as hard as you possibly can, like on your first time. It's like maybe, you know, start with like a little simple, like maybe run a mile or something. Maybe start with like half a mile even and just be able to find what it is that you enjoy and be able to just continue to work at it, man. You know, yeah. continue to work at it. Like everybody's different. Like, you know, like I said, I'm more in the weight training. You know, some people need more in the cardio, you know other crossfit like you know what i'm saying like there's so many different options you can do to work out but you know even like beyond working out i feel like you know in anything that you want to do in life i mean i feel like you know you got to have that consistent routine you got to put you got to put effort into it. you got to put discipline into it and the reason we talk about working out is you know it's just something we passionate about but i feel like with anything if you got a passion for it, you got to work at it every single day because yeah. If, if you don't work at it, it's not going to grow. It's not going to become into what you want it to be if you don't put emphasis on it. So, you know, our passion is fitness. You know, we put emphasis on it every single day. So, you know, whether you want to be an author, whether you want to be a business owner or lawyer or doctor, or whatever, take that energy and put it into whatever you want to do and, you know, be able to find that, you know, routine, be able to find that, you know, that consistent routine that you can get into. And then just continue to keep working toward it. And then eventually you'll be able to see the result. But the problem is that people keep getting caught up in the end result. You got to be able to enjoy the process. You got to know that, you know, it, during the process, it's going to get messy. It's just like when you when you make a meal, when you when you like, you know, decide to cook something, you know, when you're in the process of making a meal, like you're going to have stuff everywhere. You know what I'm saying? Like, you're going to get the flour. The flour going to be out. You're going to have the sauce. You know, the sauce going to be on the counter. It's going to be all sticky. You know what I'm saying? Like, when yeah. you're mixing ingredients together, like, you know, it's going to get all messy. Like, you're going to be like, what, what am I making? Like, there's been times I've been cooking. I'm like, I don't even know what I'm making. Like, does this even look right? Like, you know what I'm saying? But then when, it, when I put it in the oven or, you know what I'm saying, let it sit and then it come out, I'm like, man, I'm like, Look at Chef C. Look at me. But, but you know what I'm saying? I, I'll be like, because I, I can cook. I, I'm going to be real. I cook now. You know what I'm saying? Like, I've learned, like, but I've had to fail. Yeah. I've like, burnt up stuff. There's times where stuff didn't come out right. But that don't mean you just give up. Just because you maybe don't reach a goal one day don't mean you just, you know, stop and give up. Yeah. See, people who are successful, they just keep trying it. You know, the 1% is made up of people who just never gave up. That's all it is. That's it. That, that's really it. So, like, you know, don't be discouraged if, like, you know, when you first try some, you know, whether it's fitness or whether it's whatever, you you know, trying to, you know, start a business or not. When you first try it, you know, I, I wish I could tell you that everything is going to work out the way you the way you think it is. Like, everything that you say is going to just happen like osmosis. I wish I could tell you that, but it's not. 
with anything, with anything that you do, you got to continue to work at it. You got to continue to hone in on your crap every single day. And every single day that you do it, you just got to be able to be disciplined in it and, and be able to have that, that passion, that why that I always talk about, that's going to allow you to get up and continue to do it even on days where it may not always work out the way you think it is. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. Did you, uh, oh yeah, did you, I, I, I thought you was going to say something. That's why I stopped talking. I was just confirming what you were saying. Totally, totally on point with that. Yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure. I mean, discipline in the routine. You got to be, success, the key to success is in the routine. The key to success is in the routine. It is. Right? So I'd say like, you know, spend time doing activities that, are going to add value to your life that are going to allow you to grow. That's why, you know, I'm, I'm more into reading. I love reading. You know, I love fitness, yoga, definitely recommend yoga. That <laughs> is the bomb. That, now, do you do yoga? I, I'm going to ask you, do you do yoga? I have tried yoga, uh, but I, I, I guess I just kind of stopped because it was not my speed. Yeah. <laughs> But, you know, but these days I'm, I'm getting more into mobility exercises. It's not yoga, but I guess it's, it's very similar. But no, I don't really do yoga. Oh, man, that's, that's tough. <laughs> yeah, I was a little skeptical at first. Cause yeah. I like I tried it one time because I was like, because since I do like a lot of uh, a lot of lifting weights, you know, my body gets a little tight. So I'm mm -hmm. like, you know, I might as well let me try this yoga thing out. And I went to the studio down. It's like literally like five minutes down the street where I'm staying at. And I was like, man, this is this works wonders. <laughs> you know, so I was like, flexibility is good. Like if you lift, then I definitely recommend you do a little yoga because you want to keep those muscles nice and flexible. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. That's that's really good. I mean, those are really good. I I, I highly recommend mobility exercises like, and yoga. I guess they're honestly I don't know the difference because they're very similar in terms of movements and things like that. Um, just in just loosening your muscles and making sure that you're able to get full range of motion in your joints because you don't want to be because I mean your muscles tend to get really dense whenever you lift weights and stuff like that. And, yoga just helps to make your muscles relax and make you feel a lot better it helps with recovery as well so those are those are really good yeah for sure definitely like when you work out definitely recover good you know what i'm saying like recovery is key now with along with recovery recovery is also in what you refill your body okay so when you work out right is one thing to work out but you also got to put the right things in your body. So that actually is a great transition because I was actually going to ask you this question because I, I, before the call, you said you had salmon. So yes. salmon is real, real healthy. Now, I love salmon. I wouldn't do it. But I also want to know what else do you be? You know what I'm saying? Like, what what does what your, like, meal prep look like, you know, throughout the week? Right. So uh, my... In terms of meals, I grew up eating cooked food, um, so I really don't do a lot of eating out. So I cook my meals uh, from scratch for the most part. And like you mentioned earlier, I'm originally Nigerian. And um, so I have a lot of traditional Nigerian meals, um, but basically just because you're, you're probably not going to know most of them, but basically they consist of a lot of veggies. Um, a lot of vegetables, a lot of protein, um, and of course, carbs. I'm not, I'm not into, I don't cut out any part, any of my macros. I feel like the three macronutrients are really important, your carbs, your fat, and your protein. Um, I do calculate my calories, um, but not every single day. I don't, I'm not very strict with in terms of how much I'm, I'm eating. I really love the intuitive eating sort of thing. So I really listen to my body when I'm hungry, I eat. So basically, I basically follow my body. If I'm hungry, I eat. If I'm not, I don't. Um, when I'm full, I stop eating. <laughs> you know, I don't necessarily, I'm not, I'm not into restricting myself in any way. Right. And 
honestly, to be very, very honest with you, I love sweets as well, right? Um, that's definitely something that, you know, over, over the years, I've, this is just me being completely honest. It's not something I've been able to overcome. I love ice cream. I love cake, okay? I'm not gonna eat ice cream and cake every single day, but if I go out, and you know, I have a chance to have a scoop of ice cream, I will not say no. Uh, so, but in terms of my normal meals, I do have carbs, good, a good amount of carbs, good amount of vegetables in my meals, a uh, good amount of proteins and good healthy sources of fats. So like nuts, um, I love nuts. I always have like these nutty bars every morning and some protein shakes. And then later in the day, when I actually have the time to cook, I'll cook myself, uh, you know, maybe some rice with some vegetables or some spaghetti with some um, vegetables or some salmon and stuff like that. So, yeah. So having said that, I don't have like a very strict meal preppy sort of um, routine. I know a lot of people are really disciplined about that. That is just not me. Um, I'm really flexible because sometimes I get tired of some meals sometimes and I'm like yeah I don't want to eat this I want to eat something else or sometimes I could look up a, a recipe online and be like hmm, that looks really interesting I want to make that um so I'm very flexible with my meals um but most of my meals I cook at home and um I really love to he eat healthy for the most part but you know whenever I go out or you know during the weekends or stuff like that I could have cake or ice cream and not feel bad about it. So yeah, no, no, but no bad feelings about those things. Uh, I have a question for you. Yeah, go ahead. Can you make me something to eat? <laughs> can I can I get a meal? Like, <laughs> you know I'm, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try some of this right here. <laughs> nah, I'll just. <laughs> I, I mean, I can I, like I said, like that's good. Like that's really good. Like I've been on that too. Like I was on that last year because mm -hmm. I've talked to a lot of people who you know are really into fitness and you know give me some recommendations on you know what I could be eating. I've really been on it. Like to like literally like about two hours ago when I cooked dinner, I had some chicken, rice. Actually, I had some yeah, chicken, rice, and carrots. And I and I had like this little sweet chili sauce. I made this little sweet chili sauce and, and put yeah. on chicken, put on the rice, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I, I consider that pretty healthy right there. You know, I'm getting my proteins, my grains, my vegetables, you know what I'm saying? So yeah. it was it was it was the bomb. It was the bomb. <laughs> I'm, about, I'm, about, I'm about to try some of this right here. Now <laughs> I heard in Nigeria, not because I got a friend, I got a really close friend who is was actually raised in Nigeria. He was born in Cleveland, but he was morally raised in Nigeria because he he lived in Nigeria. He like he went to primary school. He graduated from high school in Nigeria. So I considered him from Nigeria because he was raised in Nigeria. And he told me that they love the rice and chicken. Now, can you <laughs> confirm that? I mean, he said he loved the rice and chicken. Like when he came to college, he was my boy in college. He came over. Uh, you know, me and him both go to Kent State. And he was like, man, I need my rice and chicken. Where the rice and chicken at? I was like, oh. I was like, he's like, yeah, that's, that's what we love. We love rice and chicken. I said, okay. I said, you go get you some, bro. <laughs> but that, was funny. that was funny how you said that. Because I was like, man, my friend told me the exact same thing. I was like, man. I was like, y'all really love your rice and chicken. Oh yeah, definitely rice and chicken. And I guess there are, there are many different ways to make rice. So, you know, there's, there's ways to innovate around those things too. So make it interesting. Yeah. Yeah, yeah for sure. Like, you know, I feel like it's, it's important because like you got, it's like putting gas in the car. You got to like refill it. You got to put the right amount of fuel in it in order for it to go because you know what's what's the good of having a nice car but then you don't have no gas and it can't go nowhere you know what i'm saying so it's like the same the same concept so it's like you know you got a nice body you know you've been working out you've been working hard now you got to refill it you got to put the right nutrients in it now i'm not saying that you got to be on this strict diet you know what i'm saying like you can obviously enjoy your stuff as long as you continue to keep burning off oh yeah i mean 
and for the most part, I think whenever I was whenever I was younger, um, especially in my teen age, I had a lot of eating disorders. So I basically at some point really hardly ever ate anything. And that was just not good. Like there is there are some extremes and I was on the other side of the bell curve in that in that aspect. Um, and I guess that's the reason why I do now I have the mindset of food is not just something that it's not something you punish yourself for. It's something that you feel your body with. Right. And definitely, yeah, just like, like you mentioned, if you have a nice car and you put water inside of it, it's not going to move because that's not the right fuel that's going to make it move or you, you may damage the engine. Right. Um, and so whatever you put inside your body is going to determine how much energy you have and how how you're able to move how your body functions and so in the long run you want to be able to have you know the right body function and you want your body to move correctly you want your body to have more energy and so you're going to feed your body with that in that manner right um and basically the only thing that builds up your body is your food like literally that's what that's the only thing you put into yourself to build you up. When you work out, when you exercise, you're literally tearing up your muscles. The only thing that's going to help you build those things is the food that you eat that will actually build your muscles or build your body. And so it's important that whatever it is that you're putting in there is actually able to build it up and not necessarily, you know, tear it down. So, you know, that's, that's one way that I look at food. Um, and you know, it's it's no there's no one size fits all for for these things, right? Um, you know, I would always say you can eat what you enjoy. Um, you can you can really enjoy your meals, right? And still eat healthy, right? Like there's no like you don't have to have like a really bland, restrictive, and low calorie diet for you to be able to say you're eating healthy. That's not even what eating healthy means, right? Um, I know a lot of people, there are a lot of like fitness uh, programs out there that will be like restricting your calories or giving you a very strict, um, you know, meal plans. And this is what you have to eat, but that's not necessarily true. I mean, those, those are like, they're guidelines, but they're not like, this is, this has to be what it is. Right. Um, and so when it comes to, when it comes to your meals, you want to really enjoy, I love, um, so I don't love to cook. Right, cooking is not really my strongest point, right? But I do cook my meals, right? It's not something I necessarily enjoy, but I cook my meals. But I love to eat tasty meals, right? So I will season up my meals the way I need it to taste. It tastes really good when I eat it. Um, and I know that, yeah, I'm feeding myself and I'm actually enjoying um, my meals. So, so that's, you know, that's definitely, you know, the one side of, of it for me. Dead, dead. That's awesome. That's awesome. I love it. I never thought, you know, I feel like me and you, we got, we pretty much the same, honestly. I really do. I really do think that, like, for real. Like, a lot of what you said kind of lines up with, like, how I feel about it. You know what I mean? Like, just in terms of fitness and, like, how you're supposed to eat. Like, I really don't think, you know, there's a, a, a really a certain way that, certain thing that you need to follow in terms of what you need to eat yeah so like as long as long as you generally eating healthy honestly like as long as you generally eating healthy you putting the right stuff in your body you're gonna see like you're gonna see it you're gonna see your body grow like you're gonna see results so you know don't get too caught up in like oh i gotta eat like five thousand ten thousand calories a day like i mean shoot like just eat when you hungry honestly just eat. Don't force yourself to eat. Just eat when you're hungry. You know what I mean? Or just eat when it's convenient to you, honestly. So, yeah, yeah I mean, there's really, like I said, you got to, you know, continue to remain disciplined and, and continue to, like, you know, make sure that you stay on track. That's really it. But, yeah. But before we close out, I, I want to know, in your 20s right now, you feel like you're living your best life? Oh yeah, I mean, there, there's definitely there could be more that I could be doing, but I I don't feel like I'm in a bad place at all. I don't feel like I'm in a bad place. There's always there's always I guess there's always 
room for improvement and room to grow and that's why we live right that's why we're alive because the moment we stop growing we're dead um that's the that's the when we start dying the moment we stop growing um but yeah for sure I feel like I feel like I am having a good time and I feel like because I I love to enjoy myself whatever it is I'm doing fitness my job my business all of it um and so so yeah that's definitely yeah I feel like I'm in a good place that's awesome I just want to see where your mindset was at you know what I'm saying like, I just want to see I just want to like close out with that one fun question you know because you know you still we still young I'm in my 22 like so yeah. me and you probably like around the same age so you know I, I know a lot of people you know feel like oh man I'm so stressed out like I'm so worried about my future and everything it's like just learn how to just live in the moment. <laughs> you know what I'm saying, learn to live in the moment. But I think I honestly might have to take a trip out to Washington. I think me and her, we got to do a, we got to do a workout together. We got to like you know do some training. You know, become like a, a dynamic duo. You know, what I'm saying? <laughs> we gotta we gotta you know we gotta become like we could probably make it like a beach body CD. Honestly. Yeah, I can, honestly, we could be like partners on a beach body CD. We come out with our own CD, you know what I'm saying? You know, she could be doing like you know her work, her thing. I can do my thing, you know. So, I really think that I really think it can happen. I really think I can pull it off. I really do for think sure, that. for sure. We'll be happy to welcome you here in Washington whenever but, you come by. Just let me know. <laughs> honestly, honestly, because like I said, is we both like to work out. I really think. You know, I'm always into trying different workouts. So I might need to try your workout. You can possibly try my workout, see how you like it. But I honestly think like we we can definitely make this happen for real. For, yeah, for sure. Yeah. yeah, for sure. But anyway, that's about a wrap for this show. Uh follow Miss Tessie at on Instagram at tessiefitness.co. I think that's right. That's right. That's right. Because I copy, I tried to, I tried to, I tried to get the right username. So at tessiefitness.co, if you want to check out her page, you can see all, all her little clips of what she be doing when she be working out. Uh, she also got a YouTube. I actually got a chance to check out your YouTube. So follow her on YouTube. Uh, there's a link in her bio. So we got, you know, all this stuff on there. So, you know, it's got a YouTube channel and all this other extra stuff that she got. So we follow her on Instagram. You'll be able to see, you'll be able to get direct access to our YouTube channel. So go check it out, man. You know what I'm saying? Got some helpful tips on there for y'all. And man, I'm telling you, bro, the month of October is looking pretty good, man. I got some more guests lined up on this show. Uh, man, I'm really excited to be able to continue, you know, with some of these great conversations. Also, man, told y'all, man, I'm writing a book. My book is scheduled to come out in two months. So definitely, if y'all looking for a Christmas gift, definitely go get my book. Definitely go get my book. It's very, very impactful, boy. Very impactful. Worked really hard on it. Um, it's called Step Towards Your Purpose. Step Towards Your Purpose, just like on this hoodie right here. If I put my camera down, this is what we got. Step Towards Your Purpose hoodies. Go get your fall gear on my Instagram. Make sure you follow me on Instagram at Disinfect Your Life. There's no space, no capitals, and you, you can you be able to click in the link in my bio. You'll be able to see, you know, the merch tab, and you can also get you some of these hoodies, get you some of these shirts. I'm telling you, bro, we're going places, man. We're going places. We're taking off. We're taking off 2021. It's still in effect. 2021 is still in effect. We're still going places in 2021. So follow, like I said, follow me on Instagram at Disinfect Your Life. For those of you who are on Twitter, follow me on Twitter at this in your life one. So that's at D I S N your life one. That's on Twitter. If you're on Twitter and for Facebook, for my older generation, if you're on Facebook, follow me on follow me at disinfect your life. Follow me once again. That's at disinfect your life, and you'll be able to see our community page and uh, see what I got going on, everything like that. But yeah, other than that. Miss Tess, you got anything else you want to say before we close out? It was it was really great hanging out with you, Chris. Um, lovely conversation. Definitely um, looking forward to hearing more from your podcast. And uh, yeah, looking looking out for you. Seems like you're going places for sure. 
And I definitely want to know, you know, I, I really want to see that book that you're writing. That would, I'm really interested in that. So, yeah. Yes, man. I'm going to have to give you a signed copy for real. <laughs> Send it to for real. Well, all right, y'all. This is your boy, Chris Simmons, alongside amazing guest, Tessie James. We out, y'all. Take care. Peace.